You know what today is? It's Q&A Tuesday. Let's get right to your questions. Kelly asks, when is our average frost, last frost date, and what types of flowers and veggies should wait until after that? Well, Kelly, we passed our average frost date. Although it's been a chilly spring, our average last frost is right around May 10th, 11th. That's the last time we should see a frost. The plants that you want to wait to plant for those are certain things like Euginia patience, regular impatience, flowering vinca for sure, and a lot of your tropical plants like hibiscus and mandevilles. And veggies, well, tomatoes, Kelly, they are a tropical plant. So you don't want to plant your tomatoes too early because they do not like those cold temperatures. That also goes for peppers. Thanks for your question, Kelly. Jenna asks, during the Derek Jeter retirement ceremony, on the camera showed blue flowers surrounded by his number two plaque. Do you know if these were blue wood hyacinths? I'd love to plant some in my garden. Jenna, I love watching that retirement thing. It was awesome. Derek Jeter is one of my favorite players. I actually got to go to his last game. So those were exactly that. The wood hyacinths, and they're a great flower because they have that nice scent. But they don't last that long. You want to get them in the ground in the fall so they come up in the early spring. Mary asks on Facebook, I saw your Q&A video on trimming a lilac tree. Would these instructions apply for a little Kim dwarf lilac also. Even though it's not very dwarf, I'm afraid cutting down one third into old wood will leave me with the bare shrub. So if you look here at your lilac, Mary, it is a dwarf one. I would not cut that way, way back. I would prune it back a little bit, but since it's already a dwarf one and they, the, the dwarf Kim, little Kim lilacs do a really good job flowering every year, you don't really have to be as aggressive as you would with the common lilac. Thank you guys so much for your questions and keep them coming every Tuesday. Have a great week.